hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a topographic profile in RGIS Pro using SRTM DEM of 30 meter resolution so in the table of content section you can able to visualize a layer it is SRTM DEM of 30 meter resolution and now this is an official site where you can able to download your SRTM DEM of 30 meter resolution it is USGS Earth Explorer and the link will be given in the description to how to download the SRTM DEM from this website so now in the table of contents section, we're going to navigate to this layer. This is the SRTM demo layer. So right click and we're going to click this option called properties and that we're going to visualize the spatial reference here. So you can able to visualize currently it is in projected, uh, projected coordinate system of WGS 1984 UTM zone 44 North. So now click OK. So in case if you have a different projection, you can just convert it to a similar uh, convert it to a projected system by right click and click this option called uh, data so in that we're going to click this option called export raster so here you can select your projections here so you can change your projection and uh, click export you can export to a projected coordinate system so now to create a topographic profile using our SRTM dem we're going to navigate to this option called view so in that we're going to navigate to this option called convert so now we're going to click this option called to local scenes. So we're going to convert to a local scene scene. So now here you can able to visualize we have two different map tabs. So first tab here represents our that is our dem data and the second layer here the map 3D here represents the elevation surfaces. So here we have our elevation surfaces. So here we're going to add our dem layer again. So just right click on this layer and click this option called add elevation source so now we have to navigate your source file of your dem data so now let me navigate to my folder location of my dem data so this is my dem data so now we're gonna click ok so now we can able to visualize our dem data has been added here so now suppose if you want to give some colors to this particular dem so you can just navigate to a layer in the 2d layer section here you can click this and right click and click this option called symbology so here you can able to visualize uh, we have our stretch type and we're going to select some color so let me select this particular color here So now here you can clearly able to visualize the high elevated areas being clearly highlighted in red color and the low elevated areas being highlighted in this particular uh, in this particular pink color. So now to create a 3D profiles we're gonna move on to this option called analysis analysis section here. So in the analysis section we're gonna navigate to this option called exploratory 3D analysis. So in the exploratory 3D analysis, we have variety of options here. We have cut and fill, elevation profiles, line of sight, object detection, slice, and view dome and view shed. So here we're gonna wish to take this particular, we're gonna perform this particular elevation profile. So now we're gonna click this option called elevation profile. So once you did that, a new window pops up saying exploratory analysis. So we have uh, selected this tool called elevation profile. So in this tool, we can able to visualize first section that is distance units. So you can select variety of different units in it. So now we're going to select this particular unit that is kilometers. So next is the creation method. So we have two different methods here. One is interactive placement and the second one is over from layers. So interactive placement, you can just click this and you can just draw the line here and get, we can get the, uh, the profile. If we get a topographic profile of that. And in case of a uh, layer, you can just import a layer from uh, from the folders and you can uh, create a profile based on your layer. So now we have selected this interactive placement. So now let's draw some lines here and uh, let us view the pro topographic profile of this particular section here. So let me draw this. So now here you can able to visualize the topographic profile here. So we are currently viewing the topographic profile of this particular uh, and now let me ex expand this. So 
So here you can able to visualize the elevation profile of this particular area. So we have uh, drawn an interactive uh, a line here. Based on that, we have getting an ele elevation here. So in the graph, you can able to visualize this uh, this particular axis here represents our elevation in kilometers. And similarly, you can able to visualize the distance. So this particular axis represents our distance in kilometers. So you can also uh, view the exact uh, elevation profile of this particular. So this graph uh, represents our elevation versus distance in kilometers. So you can also change the units. So you can just navigate to this option here in the distance unit. You can choose your desired unit. You can choose the meters or you can choose kilometers based on your uh, study. So as well as if, uh, you can move across this particular line here. So you get the information about this particular elevation profile. You can be able to visualize the height here. That is 0 0.922 kilometers. And similarly, the distance is represented in 23, uh, 23.19 kilometers. So you can able to clearly able to view that here. And the next option that is available here, we can uh, you can able to uh, click here. That is, suppose you want to export this graph, you can just click this option here and uh, you can export it as an image feature or geodatabase table or CSV table. And here there is another option here that is uh, a reverse direction. Suppose you want to reverse this, you can just click this option here. So suppose if you want to create another elevation profile, you just navigate to this option here, interactive placement, and you can just draw another profile here. So double click. So you can able to visualize the elevation versus distance here, distance here. So you can able to uh, view that. So to export this graph, we're going to click this option here, export graph. And I could like to export it as an image. No, no, let me click as an image. And now navigate to the folder location where you could like to save this graph. So now I'm going to save uh, in this particular folder here graph. So now let me click this. And here I have entered as elevation profile graph.png. So you can also change your file for format. So you're going to select as a JPG and uh, click save. Let me save here and click save. So now let me show you the exported image. So here you can able to visualize our exported uh, elevation profile of this particular area here. So now let me get back to our RGIS Pro. So in this video, I have shown you how to generate a topographic profile in uh, RGIS Pro using our SRTM DEM. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.